Hey, Sonya. You'll be painting tonight? Okay. I should be done within an hour. Hello, Linda. Crunchberry, hello. How are you? Okay. I think you guys should be able to see me. Now, something's going to happen because I have a DSLR camera. <clears throat> What's going to happen is that the video is going to click and pop out. I have to press a small button over here and it'll pop back on. But that's the only inconvenient thing I believe is going to happen. I hope. Okay. Um, I was talking to Sonya and uh, Larry last night or night before last. I can't remember when. But um, I was uh, <coughs> doing a poor I'm sorry. I was doing a pour and <laughs> I used Floetrol. Whew. Um, anyway, that's some toxic smelling stuff. Um, not Floetrol, excuse me, not Floetrol, Mod Podge, Mod Podge for the pours. And um, it works, but it stinks to high heaven. It's horrible. Um, if um, it can give you a pour that's very um, textured, let's put it that way. Okay, hey Doris, how are you? So I did do a pour over the last night, thank you. Okay, oh, I'll be long done. Um, I'll be long done. Who is Trey? You know something? Hold on. Let me do something. Okay, Doris, you're now a moderator on my channel. I know I didn't ask you, but you can put in Trey's link. All right. Hey, how you doing, Larry? I was just discussing about um, using Mod Podge for a pour. Good Lord in heaven. Um, you have to wear um, one of those um, COVID masks the army masks ugh, that stuff is potent but it gives you a textured pour and uh boy i learned my lesson if i'm gonna do a pour with that crap i'm gonna do it outside in the summer max world entertainment all right well she if she got a link she can put it she can put it on um she can put a link on now she got a link um she got a, a wrench but i can show you guys what this thing looks like Now this is um, black base coat with uh, metallic silver and, and uh, regular purple. And this is what she looks like, all varnished up and everything. And it's a swipe pour. I don't know what I'll do with it yet. I'll show you a different, there. I'll tilt it to where you guys can actually see the thing. Cause you know, the glare of the lights are gonna get you twice. So you know where my lights are. Okay. But it's very textured. Um, and it is dry. And uh, I'll, you know, I got a number of these now. And uh, I don't know what I'll do with this. Whatever idea comes to mind. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Uh, okay. So, yeah. No, it's not cured yet. It's going to take a little time. Uh, for that, it's going to take a number of days for it to cure. Um, um, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't let the cat scratch on it. Um, so, it is sit for a while before I decide to do anything with it. Um, so, I'll put it somewhere. But anyway, let's get to a, a nice little ocean scene here. Like I say, it's not going to take very long. Um, I think, um, um, Sonya comes on in exactly 58 minutes. Okay. All right. On the lower left, we have black, brown, um, aquamarine, green. Okay. Black, brown, aquamarine, green, um, cobalt blue, 
titanium white, a little bit of yellow. Will I use a lot of that yellow? I highly doubt it. It's only going to be in a certain spot, but it's all right. It's a okay. Okay, uh, let's get right on to the festivities. <coughs> I use a bit of glycerin here for uh, working in the clouds and such. A very little dab would do you, okay? Larry, uh, I'm gonna need to chat with you because I gotta see. Maybe my camera might be just too old. I don't know. It's a uh, what's the one I got up on here? It's uh, the EOS uh, T3 Canon. And um, I got it set for 29.59, but it does click a picture, but then it just it doesn't come back. I have to press the button for it to come back. So it's going to happen during this during this video. That I can I, I can assure you of that. Okay, we're gonna coat this with um, titanium uh, white. A lot of this is going to be like I say we're not gonna really think too hard about this um about this painting because it's just a simple beach scene how to get water okay I am gonna inundate this with white up up here on top and we're gonna add different variations of clouds in this and we're gonna get the sky going too all right so we're gonna start off with a pretty light blue. I'm gonna keep the white on the. Um, I'll just lighten it up a little bit, like like that. <clears throat> and we'll start from around in here, up here in this corner. And I'm gonna blend this right out. Now with the glycerin, you got a little, <coughs> a little bit of time to play around. And it's very little glycerin. Now we're gonna go with the straight cobalt blue, right in the corner. Get a little, a little depth right here in the corner. We're gonna bring some of that cobalt blue on top here. Play around with a little bit of white down on the bottom. Just some stronger white because we're going to put some yellow around in there. So we got to coat the area with a little more white. Really pop it in there where I want the yellow to be. We'll just strengthen it a little bit up around in this area. All right. Once again, this is. Um, it's got glycerin and the glycerin keeps the paint wet for a little while I got a beach towel on my uh, on my lap so I can get away with <coughs> doing those things all right okay I'm gonna take a nice little softy brush go in nice little circles and blend it right into the white you're not looking for anything particularly special right now I just want to softly blend all this in particularly when it goes into the white and so I mean you can go and crisscross strokes if you want I just want to do a circular strokes here and don't stay too long in one spot because you'll wear the paint away You can make the circles larger or smaller. I'm wiping off my brush. Just like that, just smooth it out. Now, when it goes into the, I'm gonna go into the white a wee bit and I'll bring it into the clouds. Now, 
Now I got a little bit of white in here, or blue. I'm gonna just take my brush. Let's get a little touch of white. Let's go back in here. I'm gonna brighten that back up. And bring some of that white into the clouds there. It's just blending. Once again, you don't have to blend like that. You can blend like this, however you feel. Okay. Clean off the brush real quick. Hello, Gretchen. How are you? Welcome. <clears throat> We're not going to be here too long. Um, Sonya got her live going on pretty soon. So we're going to do the uh, very simple um, little ocean scene here. Okay. Okay. Where do I want to put that yellow? Well, let's just get yellow here. Yellow is semi-transparent, but it really doesn't matter at this point because we're only going to use a little swath of it right up in here somewhere. Something like that. I'm going to take a little touch of white <clears throat> and brighten that up a little bit. We'll fade that out up there. Let's take some more white. And we're going to put it up here up on the top so we can blend and it won't turn too green. Okay, and then we're going to blend that in. here and right around the edges right around the edges see that white will prevent this stuff from turning too green on you okay and it's just me going in light circular motions so you can get away with putting white up there with yellow or with blue and it doesn't turn green well, here you go. All right. And you just blend away. Once again, we're going to put various types of clouds in here also. Okay. Let's clean that up real good. Okay. Well, I'm going to get your notification when you're on anyway. Let's put some interesting little clouds in there. I prefer a filbert. I don't see one. So I'll use a flat brush. We're going to go with straight titanium white. We'll do a nice lead in cloud. Oh, somewhere up here. Strong white. Put a nice little line in through there, right in there, like that. And I'm going to take my brush and lightly just fluff at an angle. No matter how far you go, it's just the edge. I'm just fluffing the edge away there. Okay, down below, I can just pat it a little bit. Let me take Mr. Softy over here and wave in that direction. Go in that direction. Now you're just concentrating on clouds now. Okay. The glycerin still a little maneuverable so you can you can do this you guys can do this oh you guys can do this easily all right uh, let's put some more cute little clouds in there let's go on the other side it's like you see where it's meeting in the yellow and the blue okay 
just go just like this. Flip my brush around and put it in like that. Like let it naturally fade away. It's all right. Let it just do its thing. I'm gonna wipe my brush off, get some more white. And let's start another one right here. Let it just fade away. It's all right. Get some more. Uh, let's get a little heavier here. Something like that. Bring it down a little bit. Just like that. <clears throat> <laughs> Arguing about time zones, are we? That's how we're living nowadays. You know what? Let's have a buddy come down here. Right to its water's edge. Just like that. We're going to take Mr. Softy. Because the paint's still wet. Fluffy stuff there, oh, fluffy stuff there, and you blend that in. Come here, as a, you don't want to use lose the intensity, the white of the of the clouds. Okay, you can fluff them out. If you don't want something, you can always just blend it away. Let's get a um, flat brush. Let's go into our little bit of brown. We'll put the brown right here. A little touch of white in it. And a little touch of blue. So we got some nice little gray clouds here. Um, we'll put the gray clouds, oh. Pretty much right in here. And we'll put it right by that sunset right in there like this. And we'll straighten it out. Nice little line there. I'm gonna come here, add one. Like that. And we'll come this way with it and we'll just sweep it around. I don't necessarily have to use this size brush. I have a smaller one. Once again, don't take it too seriously. Okay. Well, I'm still staring at it, looking at it. Just checking it out. See if there's anything else I want to add. I got tiny little brushes here. This little guy here, you can fine tune some things. So if you want things a little sharper or whatever. Just pat it in there. Okay. Okay. 
All right. That's not too bad. That's all right. I can probably, if I wanted to, put something else in there. Or maybe, maybe just a little bit of a dark cloud in there. Like this. Pop it in there. And go straight. Straight with it. All right. Like that. <clears throat> Tap some of that in there. We can smooth some of that out. Just like that. But you see, I, I can go into that yellow, which is blue. It's the white that saves your hide. So you can get away with putting blue red into yellow. And you see, it's not turning green. Okay. Alrighty then. So let's peel this away and we got our nice horizon line going on here okay like so now I could bring uh, yeah I could bring some more black up there and bring the bring the water line up there but I think I'll add we'll probably add an island or something We'll take a flat brush. We'll add a faraway island. Um, we'll come up above here like that. And we'll have it kind of come down that way. Okay, there it goes. Why is it doing that? That disturbs me. Uh-oh, I think I, it came back and I just clicked it again. There we go. All right. Oops. I told you, that's the only disturbing thing that happened. Let's see, what time do we got here? 6.19, now we got plenty of time. Like I said, I don't know if it's the age of the camera or not, Larry, but I cannot see and find it to, uh, for it to go on. It may have did it. I don't know. I didn't look. It may have came back, but you guys may have caught it. I don't know if it came back to regular video or not. I know we got a delay, and I didn't even look at the delay. Okay, so we'll add some, some land here. It's all right. <clears throat> but check this out let's add just for distance a little touch of a little touch of gray right and we're going to go into this light blue we're gonna color the, the gray with a little bit of blue that should be uh, more than enough we're going to come here and add a far away fella. Uh, we'll put him up here, here like this. So that's one way to get rid of that, that white space. Now, for me to have that look a little bit more correct, I'm going to go into my black and we're going to do a facelift on that mountain back here. So we'll come up a little higher. All right. Just a mountain facelift. 
because we want this mountain to be a little larger. And then something like that. We'll just make it a little bit larger. So now we establish a little bit of distance there. All right. See how easy you can fix that? Once again, very simple. Very simple. There, bring that back. Don't worry about none of that. Hello, Angie. Hey, Madonna, how are you? Okay, 28 minutes. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. Okay, now let's play um, with the water. Okay. We're going to use a slightly larger brush, a uh, one inch wide should do. And we're just going to lay out the water right now. All right. Like I say, we're not going to be here very long. It's 623 now, my time. Let's get some of this uh, cobalt. I, oh, no, I don't want the cobalt. Well, I already got it on there anyway. But anyway, <clears throat> we're going to stop. Uh, no, let's put the cobalt. Uh, well, let's start at the top. We'll do it this way. I didn't want the cobalt, but you know what? We're going to do it anyway. We're going to we're going to play. We're going to play around with it. We're going to turn this brush around. Got paint on the other side. I'm going to see where the horizon line is here. to go higher just a quarter of an inch higher right around in here somewhere the, the key to it is keep the horizon line level will bring this down here like this bring it all the way down it's all good bring it down bring it bring this blue all the way down a little bit bring it down further bring it on down cobalt is not as um transparent like uh, let's say um, what's that other blue um, thalo thalo is very dark Prussian blue extremely dark those, those are transparent blues this is not okay all right so we're working this I'll use I'll use a little water to fade it a little bit so down here well, kind of wet it up and fade it a, a wee bit. There's a reason for this. We're going to take our green blue now. And we'll take our green blue. We'll pop it in here. Just like this. And we're going to come in and we're going to blend it right in. See this? Blend it. Blend it in to that other blue. Blend it right in. Like it fades from one to another. And keep it horizontal keep it horizontal once again don't take this too serious very simple concept here we're doing as far as water right now we're just fading it right in a wee bit <coughs> I have it come down us a, a smidge lower right up in here somewhere and we're gonna brighten it up in spots there's no glycerin, no nothing, but just pure paint right now. Swipe it right in there. And it's drying as I'm doing it, which is fine. Get a little water, and we're going to fade this out right into the black. Then we're going to add our little bit of beach in there. little more water fade it right in fade it right into the black let it disappear back and forth back and forth back and forth just like that let it just disappear okay we got our brown here 
Let's start it with a little bit of our, our land, a little touch of white in there. Okay, we'll lighten it up a bit. Come right to the bottom here. Right here. We're going to get some more. Some more white. Uh, get a little touch of water. Pop it right in there. Now, once again, there's no glycerin. <clears throat> it's just water and paint. Now, when you're using water and paint, you got a little time limit. So, be a little, a little quick with it. Okay. And we're going to get a little bit of our shading in, too. So you guys see what I'm doing, I'm just dipping in the water now because I got paint down on the bottom and I'm bringing that paint up into the blue, okay, right up into the blue, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You see what it's doing, right? Just keep repeating it, back and forth to get that nice transition going, all right? So once again, have no fear, get it in there. And now, how far you want the beach up there? Up to you. Okay. A little darker brown down here on the bottom. Now we're going to get our transition going there. A little deeper brown in here. The water's still a little wet, so you can fade it real fast. It's going on 630 right now. We got this. We got this. I'm just inching it up a little higher. Just a little higher. Right into that blue. Add some of that brown into the blue. You marry these two together. All right? All right. Like so. Fatima. Okay, now uh, we'll have this <clears throat> sunlight come somewhere around in here. Okay, we'll take a little, we'll just do it all with water. Um, let's take a little bit of white. I got enough. I don't think I have enough really. We don't. I'm not even going to play with you guys like that. We're going to get some more white. We'll just wipe up some of this stuff. We're going to clear this out. Okay. Like I said, this is not going to take very long to do. Very simple. This would be something I would love to see you guys do. Uh, we'll add a little bit of white right there. I don't think I need any other color. I think that's it. The waves <clears throat> and how we're going to approach them a little different also because I know where we've been pretty much fed on how to do certain waves with a certain stroke a certain way. Uh, I'm going to show you another way just as effective um, also. Okay. Oh, yeah. There it is. Let's work on the, uh, we'll work on the, uh, on the uh, reflection. A little touch of yellow into my white. All right, just to contaminate it with just a little yellow. It is sunlight, right? We'll take a, the, this one-inch brush. It's got a very sharp, um, uh, nice, tight edge to it. You probably can't see it with this um, camera because it's, it's interlaced. So we'll go down here, and you see the nice, sharp edge there. See that? Okay. Nice, tight edge there. All right. You approximate where you want your sunlight more or less somewhere in here and then we're gonna add first of all add a line like that add a line add as straight as you can add a line and then you take your line and we'll spread that line out a little bit I'll 
bring some out here like this. So we have it like swerve around a little bit like that. We'll come around in here. We'll strengthen it up a little bit. You guys can do this. I know you can. I'll come around in here somewhere and just go straight down. Go straight down and you fade it out at the, at the edge there. Fade it out a little bit. Uh, let's give it a little stronger batch of color right here. And then we'll fade it out, fade it out, fade it out there. We're going to add more stuff to it. Right now we just got the little lines going down here. Okay. brighten up a few things again very lightly go left to right okay now we're gonna get that stronger Little touch of white, a little bit of yellow. Left to right, left to right. Like so. Okay, here we go. Once again, just take your time. As horizontal as you can. Now, whoops, you can um, just wipe that away. A lot of blending. Okay. Let's get some waves going in here. Let's take a little touch of blue. We'll use the same brush, it's all right. Now watch how easy it is to do little waves. Um, I'm gonna take a slight touch of black in this blue. <clears throat> You, uh, here, let's start from, let's start from over here. We'll get the darker ways here. Let's start way over here and you go thin, thick, and you go thin again, round across like that, all right? And you just, you just keep doing it. As you get closer, they're gonna get a little bigger. thicker here and then go thin you can get it thicker here and then go thin again a 
a little more blue, a little touch of black. <coughs> We're gonna, we're gonna concentrate these guys over here because I want um, a heavy darker presence over on this side so you just keep playing just like this okay right in here a little darker presence there and you, f you fade that bottom right out there come this way you'll see how it's gonna turn out all right but look at the look at what the effect you're getting now all right <clears throat> right now I'm at the, the hour where my voice is uh, kind of acting crazy forgive me I'm sorry a little darker here give give some more contrast to where that sunlight is pop a nice one right here and just go straight across I think that's cool. And you see I'm using just one brush, right? Because once again, this is, a, this is a study on how to do them. It's fun. It's very simple. Let's get some highlights on them. Very thin. Keep your brush almost parallel to the, to the uh, paper here or the, the board. And you add your... Right on top of that dark. Look at this. Look what happens. Come across. Hit downward. Hit downward. See? Look at look what's going on there. Alright. Right here. Come here, give it a couple of waves downward, and look at that. <clears throat> you can't tell me that those don't look like waves. They do. Thin line, thin, push it down with your brush a little bit. Boom, 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 and go straight across. Just like so. Come back here, get some going there. Get a couple of them fellows over there too. Up in here. Don't make them look like tin soldiers. Put them in sporadically. All right. Now, well, obviously, you go further back, they're going to be a little slimmer. Okay. So, let's get a smaller brush. So, you're going to get a, I don't know, half inch brush. Something that keeps, once again, a very sharp edge. All right. We're at 640. We're almost there. It's really me just pushing down. Straight line across, push the brush down. Push the brush down. Push the brush down there like that. All right. And since they got such a thin brush, and it holds a very decent edge, we're gonna go back and, and uh, get those highlights going. Sometimes it's just a touch. And group them. They're right around in here. Keep them in the, in the center. Just like that. Like so. Okay. All right. Thank you, Doris. Let's get um some little wake of water here we'll use a thin brush a little bit of, of white and we'll come oh well let's get a little touch of water we'll kind of get it wet so we can fade this stuff <coughs> so right in between here up in here okay i'll do it like this for a second let me go right across like, like this I know it looks kind of crazy, right? We're going to, uh, yeah, we'll go this way. We'll, we'll come this way. 
and just kind of brush it in one direction just brush it all in one direction here brush it one direction okay brush it in one direction this stuff here let's get a clean brush we'll fade it out It's just me scumbling the brush a little bit. Go right across. All of that. We're going to add more to this. Don't worry. Okay. So once again, wave this stuff outward. I'll just keep waving it outward. Out, 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 out this way. In one direction. That way. Keep it just, have it all go in one direction. All right. <clears throat> Let's get some foamy looking stuff going here. I'm going to do it the quickie way because we're getting ready to pop on over there to Sonya and raise a little bit of heck over there. Let's get a pellet knife. Bring, bring it out like a, one of the Bob Ross mountains. We'll come right here to the edge. Now, a few ways you can do this. You can have it angled and do it. You can go straight and do it. Okay. But I just wanted some frothy. I'm pressing pretty good here. But look at that. All right. Thin. I don't know if you guys can see that up. Very thin. Now this is one of the ways, this is one of the very few times you can actually put your finger here because you want that weight. You come here. You slide it in there like that. You want that rough looking, sudsy looking texture going on there. I can bring it out there a little bit. Get yourself some more white. Bring it out. See how simple this is? Once again, I'm, this is don't, I'm not taking it air, you know, super seriously. Um, meaning that I don't think painting is a joke. It's just <clears throat> very simple way, very simple web, uh, method just to get the point across that you got some, you know, you got some, got some action going on here. Okay, just like so. Bring it right across your sand here. Whoops, right across the sand. All right, pull it out very thin, rub across. Get that rough stuff going. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Like that. Uh, yeah, we're, we're cool here. We're, I'll add a little whatever right there. Now, let's take a little bit of black. Same premise with the black. Okay. But you're going to take the black and go directly underneath what you just done. So now that it makes your waves look like you know, there, get a little body to them there. All right. So even if it's just a, a, a little touch or a little line there, it gives you a little bit of depth. Look at this. Just slightly underneath the white part of your waves. Come up here and do the same thing up, up in here. See this? Little line. It takes practice. I'm not going to lie. It, it does. It takes a little practice, a little judgment. But you guys can do this. You gotta remember, I, I I never was able to do this either. All right, I had to be shown how to do it. Get that out of there. Okay. But you know, look at what you got so far. All right. Okay. Let's take a little bit of gray. We're at 6.46, so Sonya, I still got a few minutes. We'll come up here, and we'll just play play around with a little bit of texture. Just come over here and just kind of pop some of those in there like that. Come over here. There's no glycerin on this. It's just me scraping some paint on some rocks now if I don't want them too gray I 
I can take some black and go right back over it again and create some of our black areas back wherever you feel it needs to be see how you can bring it back now look at the rocks see, see how you build them back up again so once again hashtag don't panic all right well I mean you know there you go uh, let's take a fan brush because I'm a glutton for punishment as you guys well know we're gonna put oh let's get some yellow mix it into the white and we get some little sandy rocky things going on in there here look at that put them in there why not I didn't want that big fat glob in there. Get out of there. Go, go away. Go on, go away. Just go somewhere. And you just put some more back, cover that up. Yeah, don't come back. There. You gonna come back? There you go. All right. Oh, what happened? Oh, there you are. Maybe, maybe a little sooner, Larry. <laughs> maybe 25 minutes. But all right. <clears throat> okay. I think um, we've got about almost 11 minutes left. All right. I'm not going to go right to the edge of, of uh, 7 o'clock because that would be just, you know, asinine. I'm looking for my script liner. There we are. Oh, we'll take a little bit of. Um, no, 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 no. We're going backwards. We're going backwards. Let's take what's left of my white. It always makes a, a seascape a little interesting. Put a little bit of life in there. So we'll put um, we'll put one of these guys right here. Just a sloppy little V bird going like that. Give him a little bit of a body. Like that. Now you guys don't know really what that is until I uh, kind of tighten him up a little bit. And I will. I will. I'll put one right here. Give him a little bit of a body. Give him a little better, better wing than that, though. Like that. So it's just a thicker version of a of the letter V. That you guys don't really see too well in that. Um, you don't see him too well in that yellow. So I'll kind of make him a little bit. On a bluish side there. All right. You know what? I like that blue. Let's put some way up here somewhere, just flopping around. They're a little further away. A little group of them up there. <coughs> and we'll give him little black tips there. Wings there, black tips on his wings, his little tail. Just like that, little, little tips on him. Hey, how you doing, um, uh, Mary? Good to see you. Nice. Colgate few pens are great. Though they're pretty, pretty cool. I just want to narrow his wings a little, little bit.
All right, that's it, guys. I'll just throw my name on it. Um, I already know what I'm going to do with one of my pours. It will be... I don't know if it... I'll, yeah, it will be somewhat involved. It'll be something you guys aren't used to see me do. I used to do stuff like that in my little graphic arts days. But I'll, I'll show you. It might be... Um, I don't know if I'll do it... I don't know if I'll do it tomorrow or not. It's good to see you, Pittsburgh. I'm hanging in there, Doris. I'm hanging in there. Okay, what is this? 12 by something another, so I think it takes this one. You know, I'm trying out gadgets, and I'm using a different um, camera. So, even though this is a little large for it, but it would look more like that in the frame. And I think the black frame captures it pretty good. What do you think? I think it does. Of course, you know I got to do it this way. Because you guys are looking at it kind of scrunched up. So we'll do it like that. And we'll make this disappear. There. That looks a little, a little better. It looks more like, like that. Actually, this frame's a little large for it. But it looks, it will look something like that framed up. More or less. Okay. Okay, let us peel the tape off. I can't I can't leave without you guys not looking at what it would look like with the tape peeled off. And I don't know if I got tape in the back of this, it looks like it might slide. This is um not paper, this is actually 12 by 16 canvas board. But that's what it looks like. That's what she's, uh, yeah. you know, guys know the deal. I'll be taking a photo of it and um, put it on Instagram, put it on Facebook, blah, blah, blah. Some of you guys might be over there looking. Um, it's because Sonya's up and around now. So if you guys want, you guys can head over there to uh, uh, Sonya and check her out. But thank you very much, guys, for watching. I do appreciate it. Let me find the right number for you. Where are you at? I don't think I ever put you on here. I don't see it. That's so sad. But that's all right. I got it here. I didn't write it on my sheet. I forgot. That's all good. Okay. Anyway, this is it. Let's go over there and pester Sonya and then we'll pester uh, Doris at 8 o'clock or is it 9 is it 9 okay 9 o'clock 9 for us cool all right let's go pester Sonya thank you guys I appreciate you peace